Hello fellas, welcome back, and Warzone Firefight is now officially live, the beta on Halo 5 Guardians, and fellas, I want to give you guys my first impressions, kind of a wee bit of an overview of kind of what I think at the moment after playing Warzone Firefight. Now I played two matches fellas, two, two matches of Warzone Firefight, and oh my god guys, my expectations have been blown completely out of this world. This game mode is so much freaking fun. Now I obviously want to talk to you guys about why it is fun. So there's five rounds, right? There's five rounds you have to survive and each round gets increasingly harder. Now it's got that classic firefight feel from OD's Team Reach, but now that 343's making it, it's obviously got their own kind of personal twist on it as well, which kind of makes it kind of special and unique compared to other firefight game modes. Now I obviously want to talk to you guys about why this is unique and why it is so much fun. So it's obviously Warzone, right? Now I played two matches and they've both been on the same map, Escape from Ark. But the thing that I mentioned in my wishes video that I will leave in the link down below, also a link down below in the in the description, in my wishes video, pretty much all of my things that I was concerned about, they have been answered in the Warzone beta. Like the main point was that I don't want it to get repetitive. And guess what, fellas? Every single match feels different. The bosses spawn differently. The enemies play differently. There's different types of enemies. And I also said in my wishes video that if there's covenant enemies traversing, I want covenant bosses, Prometheus enemy, Promethean enemies, Promethean bosses. Fellas, it is exactly like that. Now this is, oh my god, it is just awesome, fellas. Everything I was kind of worried about has been, or my worries I should say, have been completely kicked out of my head. There are no worries. This is just so much freaking fun. And every match feels unique, right? Every match feels different. The bosses spawn differently because at the end of each wave, there's five waves, right? Or sorry, five rounds, I should say. There's a boss, or there's a couple of bosses at the end of each round. Now these bosses get increasingly harder with the hardest boss obviously being at the end. And every match feels different, fellas. Every match feels unique. And oh my god, I can't get over how fun this is. If you guys are at work, if you guys are at course, get the day off, come home, hop on the one, come on the one, fellas, and jam out some Warzone Five Five. This is so much freaking fun. I've taken the day off, fellas, to play this and obviously get some videos up for you guys as well. So I obviously want to show you guys some gameplay as well and kind of talk about in the background why this is so much fun. So I've talked about that every match feels unique, right? So my first impressions are obviously every match feels unique. And even though I've only played two, I can tell that bosses are going to spawn differently depending on what type of enemies you're fighting. Like obviously, if you're fighting covenant enemies, you're going to have some covenant bosses. And these bosses move around the map, so it's not like normal Warzone, how they spawn in the same place every match. They're always moving around, and they actually fail. They actually act differently, like some hunters might be different than others that you're fighting as bosses. And I'm not sure if there are any other maps you can play this on, because as I mentioned before, I've only played on Escape from Ark. So this is just a beta, so obviously obviously things are well due to change over time. But I'm pretty sure that the beta is only on one map. Correct me if I'm wrong, fellas, but all the gameplay I've seen of all the, all the other YouTubers I watch has only been on Escape from Ark. Now this isn't a bad thing, because this is just a beta, so it's pretty much giving the fan base just kind of like a trial period from the 15th to the 18th and kind of try this Warzone Firefight out. And fellas, if you guys were thinking about hopping back on Halo, do it. This is so much fun. And I ain't just a fanboy fanboy now. I am a fan of greatness. And this is greatness. It is so much freaking fun. Now, I've played matches by myself because all my other friends are at work at course. Suckers, right? So I've been at home all day playing Warzone Firefight. I took a day off, as I mentioned before. And oh my god, I just want to hop on some mates, bullshit, have a laugh, and play some Warzone Firefight. Because I can see that with friends, like five or six friends, you can hit because you can have eight players in this Warzone match. Oh my god, it will be so much freaking fun. Now, I've talked about the positives, how the bosses change, every match, fe every match feels unique. I want to get into some negatives. Now, this isn't going to turn into a hate fest. It's just going to be my kind of first impressions. Because this is just a beta, right? This is just a beta, so we are, we are allowed to kind of voice our opinions and kind of, dis kind of discuss things that are either concerning us or kind of are on our mind, that weigh heavy on our mind, fellas. Because I could tell you guys a few things that are weighing heavy on my mind, but that might be a wee bit inappropriate for these Warzone Firefight videos. I will save that for a different day. But guys, the only thing that I could say is maybe a wee bit of a criticism is I think that it's a wee bit too easy. It's a wee bit too easy. But of course, this is just a beta, so they're probably going to add things to it later on. But the thing that I would like to add into it, if I possibly could, maybe to make it a wee bit harder, is that there's like downtime in between raves, right? And I keep calling it waves. I mean rounds. Oh my god, rounds, zombie bang, rounds. In between each round, it's like 30 to 40 seconds where you have like downtime to kind of choose all your weapons and to get your gear together. But during the round, I would like to see if you die, you don't spawn back. You don't spawn back till the next round in that downtime period. Or if you do die, your body has to be revived after like two minutes or something. Like I would, like I would love to see it be that hard. But if you die, 
you are dead. Right? <laughs> you are dead till the next round. I would love to see that because people die all the time with this, right? The enemies are freaking hard. They take you out real quick. So I would like to see that if you died, you died for good. But obviously, if you survive, you get heaps of XP and all that sort of cool stuff. So that's the only thing that I would add into it if I possibly could. Is maybe make it a wee bit harder like that. So if you die, you obviously don't spawn back. But fellas, that is my only criticism. That's the only thing that I could say that may be changing this. Other than that, this is so much freaking fun and I can't wait to get back to it. But fellas, if you have played this for yourself or you are planning to play on it, obviously after you get home, maybe later on today, be sure to comment down below. And obviously comment your game takes as well because I want to jam with you guys because all my friends are going to come on later. So we'll obviously all join a party, all bullshit, have a laugh, play some Warzone Firefly and I cannot wait. I cannot wait to get back to it. But guys, as always, thank you for watching. I will leave links down below to my Facebook and my Twitter. Be sure to follow me there. And a link down below to my previous video. So if you guys haven't checked it out, be sure to go check it out. That will be awesome. And I will leave you guys with the rest of this gameplay. So enjoy that. But as always, have a great day. Have a great week. Stay safe. Stay tuned. And I'll see you on the next one. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Teammates eliminated the Night Noble. Incoming Prometheans. It's Warden Eternal. Confirmed. Enemies hit. Simulation complete.